So if you're having a problem with your refrigerator and your refrigerator is not cooling, one 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 of the culprits that that can be can be many many different things, right? But if if you came here, it's because you suspect that it's the fan motor, and so I'm gonna teach you how you can how you can test the fan motor by yourself without needing a technician or needing special tools or or um you know just do it quick that way you get results and and you and you move forward and you order the part so basically what you need is is a is a 9 volt battery and you need a speaker wire so this is what I got, nine volt battery, speaker wire, your negative and your positive. It really doesn't matter where you connect it. Um, just connect one end of the wire to one end and the other to the other end, just like this. And what I did is I put some tape on it right there to keep it, to keep it holding it. So it stays in place. And then here's the motor. I've already taken, taken the refrigerator apart. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste your time doing all that because I'm sure I'm sure you're you're here because you want you want to see how to test it. So so you once once you once you have that you take it apart. Basically, what the the wires the 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 pings you're gonna hit is you're gonna hit ping number one and ping number the last one. So you're gonna skip the one in the middle and then you're gonna you're gonna test the first and the last one. And so you're gonna put the wires in there that way. And you wanna put something on top so that you can see that it's spinning. So you wanna put something on top so you can see it spinning. And then you want to test it. So you put it in there and you, and, and you put it there, you make sure there's connection and you see that not, nothing is spinning. So at this point, you know, hey, it's not spinning. It, it's not working. So you, so then you find out, hey, this is not working. That's why my refrigerator is not cooling, and and you fix it. So next thing you want to do, you want to order yourself a part. You want to buy a, buy the part. And when the part comes in, here's the part. The part just came in today, and you wanna you wanna test it and see, and see if it's working. Obviously, it's working. But I'm gonna show you how this works. Okay, so that there's the bad part. Nothing, nothing spun. So now I'm gonna get this same thing here and do the same test put one end here on the first one and then the other end on the last one and it should start spinning See what I mean? So now you have you have a good one. This is a good one. You change it. Once you change it, your refrigerator will be back, back to cooling, back to new.